God is not looking for a vessel of gold. God is not looking for a vessel of silver. God is not looking for a vessel of diamond. Do you know what God is looking for? God is looking for a yielding vessel. A yielding vessel. Have you considered my servant Job? Have you considered my servant Emmanuel? Have you considered my servant? Put your name on that list. God is looking for you if you're ready to yield all right if you're ready to yield he is ready to use you he picked the foolish things of this world and he confirmed it with the wise all right all right so the foolish things of this world to the wise they look at it like what is this but there lies the power can you imagine how a little baby boy the king of the whole world the one who was sent to come and die and save humanity the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. Can you imagine him being born in a manger? Glory to God. Glory to God. Can you imagine the one who has trillions and zillions of angels within his disposal? Just with a click of his finger or a snap of his finger, angels will be around him fighting his battles. Can you imagine that same king give himself up? And, de- and died a shameful death on the cross that is who our god is all right so you're going to pray this prayer say dearest heavenly father make my heart a yielding vessel make my heart a yielding heart make my heart yield let me burn for you day by day let my heart desire what you desire let my heart crave for what you crave I want to be a yielding vessel so I can become a weapon, a mighty arrow in the hand of the Lord, destroying the the, the, the counsel of the wicked and shattering the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayers. From today going forward, I declare myself a yielding vessel. And I declare that my heart is after the heart of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.